Hey guys, welcome to Salesforce Tutorials. Hope you are keeping well and staying safe. In this session, we are going to talk about Dynamic Forms, which is one of the coolest features released in Summer 20. So let's see what it is. With the help of Dynamic Forms, you can put field sections anywhere on the page and even you can arrange them in any order anywhere on the page using Lightning App Builder. Even you can utilize visibility filters to hide and show your sections and fields on the page. So let's see what it is. To enable the sections, you have to go to record page settings under user interface. So it's present here. Once you go to this page, you have to enable this feature. So currently this feature is in non-GA preview and currently this feature is not supported for standard objects or anywhere else. It's only supported for custom objects and that to desktop view. It is not supported for mobile view. So let's go to one of the custom objects and see how it works. So I've created one custom object, which is lightning, sorry, integration logs. So I'll go to one of the record. So this is my one of the record. I have not created any custom fields. It's just like standard fields. I've just created one object. I'll go and edit this page. Let's see what all options we have. So once you land on the Lightning App Builder, you'll see a new section here, which is fields. So with the help of fields, we have two things here, field com uh, components and field sections. So field section, if I put here, so see it has created the section and it is asking for column one or column two, what you want. So I say column one, it is asking you for what is the section title. I'll say information and then it is uh, so you can specify visibility filters also in visibility filters you can use that record fields or like device which device you're logging in or uh, advanced filters like where you can utilize standard permissions and custom permissions depending on that you hide and show the field sections in this field section you can directly put the fields like i put created by i put my integration log name i have put my last modified by now you see we have created these uh, we have added these fields and in fields you can specify uh, these are standard fields if i go to one of this uh, so in this fields you can set whether you want it read only or you want it required so the things that you used to do in page layout on the field level that you can do here as well. Then on the fields also you can utilize these visibility filters and set like suppose I don't want to show some fields when uh, I have some custom permissions or uh, if I don't have that permission I should not be able to view one of the sections. So now all these things are possible. You can run on the basis of permissions, or it's, uh, like custom permissions and standard permissions. Or even like um, you want to say you have to create a form if like one of the fields is a check checkbox. When it is checked, you are showing few more uh, fields. Or like you have a requirement where you are showing country and state. So when you select a country, then the second field like uh, for this country these additional values are required so depending on that you can show additional fields so this is very useful so from here you can directly add these but still i can see my detail uh, record detail present here so when you click on record detail it gives me an option to upgrade this so either i can remove this and directly create this um, section from scratch or like if I don't want to do that then I if I click on this it gives me an option of uh, upgrading so let me remove this which I have created now I'll click on this I have an, an option to upgrade my detail view so let's click on that it is showing me different what what will happen what to do then here it is talking about okay boss you are going to upgrade this uh, detail section which was following one of the layouts so if for now my this object only has one layout if it is having multiple layout it will show you different options and from that you can select which layout you want to upgrade like it will pull all your field details and section details from that particular layout and convert it into this dynamic form 
So I say okay, go for integration log layout. When I click on finish, you'll see a section generated which has my fields already added. You can see one more thing here which is uh, record detail. So for mobile view, it will show the standard uh, record details because currently this feature is not supported but for mobiles. Okay, then one more cool feature which is not part of dynamic forms but it is uh, dynamic actions it is currently in beta so now if so these actions are coming from uh, the page layout that you have configured so if i don't follow this uh, and i don't want to bring them from page layout then i can just enable this feature and i can add these actions from here it will show you all the standard actions quick actions and then you can add them and display so if you have a requirement on the some permission basis uh, you want to show some actions like if you have a edit custom permission then only you should have edit button so if i go for this edit action i say add it and on this i can set filter and i can say okay advanced i'll go and select uh, permissions currently i do not have any custom permission in this org so i'll select standard permissions it will give me list of all the standard permissions which i which i can have okay so if i say api enabled so if i have api enabled then only i'll see this edit option okay but for now we are not going for this i'll just disable this i'll save my page i'll activate it and i'll set it to our default i'll say desktop next save and once I've saved, I'll click on back button. So here I am with my dynamic forms, which has created this section. And if I edit, it gives me an option here to save or cancel. I can change the value, post accounts, I'll say post contacts, I'll save, it got updated. So little bit UI is changing but it is almost similar and the best thing is this configurable feature which will help us a lot because we were a lot dependent on page layouts and we were having uh, problems like so in my current project there are requirements where we are driving fields and uh, driving actions on the basis of permission and for that we have created uh, custom uh, record detail and custom uh, highlights panel so these all features will help a lot so that's it about dynamic forms uh, uh, thank you thanks a lot if you like this video if you want us to post more please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel thank you thanks a lot